Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Uh, today we received a card and the problem in this card was whenever we are pressing the start button it is showing the error one there was no relay click sound so I thought that it's a MOSFET issue so I checked the MOSFET and all the things like that all of the things were okay and uh, here I come I just uh, tested all the resistances and when I just reached here I found that there is a 330 ohms resistance that is showing a very greater value of 7 to 8 mega ohms so I change uh, that resistance after that when I started the same problem was there so I thought that something might be faulty so here is the resistance of you can see that is 3.3 .3 mega ohms the resistance here was installed was of uh, 2.4 mega ohms but in the print of card there is a return 3.9 mega ohms so I had a resistance of 3.3 .3 mega ohms so I changed that and uh, after that when I started I was confident that everything is now okay the card would be working fine again there was the same issue the same error E1. So at the end, whenever I go for resistances and all the components that can be checked by the multimeters, I initially check all those components. Uh, like you can check diodes, you can check transistor, you can check, check capacitors, each and everything. I checked all. So the issue was not solved. At the end you have only one option okay after that you will have to go for the optocouplers because optocouplers can only be accurately checked by the oscilloscope so right now we don't have any oscilloscope so on my second procedure I normally use to change all the possible optocouplers so I here I change these two optocouplers PC817 and uh, after that when I just powered up the trade mill it was working fine so uh, in case if, if, it was, if it is not working fine so I would have been gone for these ICs that is of LM393 and 358 and here is a EEPROM so I would have been changing that if you have an issue changing all the things you have not working so at the end at the last step you always have to go for the ICs now now I'm showing you that my card is now okay and it is working in a fine condition so here is what we have pressing the start button buttons are a bit stuck so I'm going to also going to change that Now you can see there is a click sound and you can see that the bulb there is glowing. Now I am increasing the speed. You will see that it will go up and down. 5 speed. brighter and brighter 12 again coming for 5 bringing the speed down ok that is 
going down i'm bringing it down you can see that bulb is with the slow slope it is going down and down and down so i'm stopping here it is completely off so uh, guys remember that uh, whenever you are ch doing all these thing keep on mind that you have to go check all the buttons because it is not a good indication that you are giving a repairing card and at the end the buttons are not good my all these buttons are good but you know this one this one is see i am clicking there but it is not starting so i will be changing this button because this will not create a good impression on my customer so guys this was today video i hope you like the video and uh, for any kind of problem you face during repairing you can contact me i will be here showing helping you out thank you